check the mic and make sure it I sound think, right. I think like the idea that really pushed me, maybe it'll help with whoever's listening or you, I don't know. You're gonna die. Yeah. And I, I'm pretty sure it was like either Gary Vee or Grant Cardone. Somebody says that all the time. That's a. But you're alive right now. Take advantage of it because you're living. That's crazy, man. You're alive. You're not dead. You can rest. You can do whatever you want. You can have anxiety. You can have whatever the freak you want when you're. But right now, if you can just battle over it with your mind and just go through whatever you're going through and understand that you're going to die, great. You you can die tomorrow, and you literally didn't want to go and freaking you know do this podcast today because you're like, mm, not feeling it. Not feeling what? Like you're gonna die tomorrow? Listen, you're gonna die. Take advantage of when you are alive right now because when it comes to your time, you're gonna take off and whatever you believe in the afterlife. But you know, heaven or hell, at least I believe that. I don't know if people can say that. But I don't know how religious people are. I'm very spiritual, so we can talk about that too. Um. But I don't know, it just it helped me a lot. And just are, you, are you saying that. just go after whatever the fuck it is you want to do because you're going to die someday, it doesn't really matter? Within moral boundaries and understanding where yeah. society stands, like you don't go like shooting up places, yeah. or obviously. But obviously, yeah. without, within moral boundaries and like understanding all that, yes, yeah. do it. And yes, I did it. I went after what I wanted. I quit something I wanted and I was like, you know what? My life, I want to make some decisions for it. Yes, I'll answer for my decisions. I'm responsible for my decisions, but I want to be responsible. I don't want to live. Oh my gosh. My sister said this the other day. She's like, Stefan, I, oh my gosh, I better word this right. The first time I rather live my life with somebody else's input instead of living their life with my input in it. You want me to repeat that? Yeah. I rather live my life with somebody's input. Meaning negative judgment. Judgment, uh, um, life advice, whatever. Like anything input into my life, any kind of impact into my life, instead of living their life with me being like, instead of me living their life, like living exactly what, like let's say your parents. Yeah. Like they want you to live, they want you to go to nine to five, go to a cubicle and make your $25 an hour. Great. Good for you. You did $25 an hour. Good for you. Amazing. Oh, you should be in radio. Hey, how you doing? <laughs> Welcome to Stefan. Um, so... If you do that, you live their lives with your input in. You're like, no, but I'm going to n- nine to four. <laughs> no, 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 no. Sorry for screaming the mic. Live your life, man. Yeah. Take other people's criticism, um, input, whatever the frick they're giving to you. Good. Do it. Because you'll be content. Dude, you'll be happy. Even if you are not, you know you are responsible for your unhappiness. If you're, if you're making decisions, this is what I'm finding even with myself. If I'm making decisions that are making me happy then yeah, you don't really give a fuck dude real talk if someone else doesn't like what you're doing because it doesn't fucking matter you feel good about it instead of the reverse true feeling absolutely shit about what the fuck you're doing but someone else once a week gives you a compliment about it hey doing great yeah don't give a fuck i fucking hate it that's what you're probably true. thinking in your head is probably obviously not what you say to them but and so the reverse, someone saying, I don't know if you should be doing that. You're like, yeah, okay. Well, uh, I don't know. <laughs> it makes me happy, though, so I'm going to keep doing it. Again, obviously. In but then you're responsible. Like, w- the worst thing that happens is resentment. Yeah, and, and, and regret. <laughs> but your own choices, letting someone else fucking decide shit for you. Listen, if I started this business and I would be going under, it would be my, completely my decision. My money down the drain. And I'm okay with that, you know? Yeah. I'm okay taking an L if I made the call. What motivates you? Tell me that. What motivates you to, like, like? What motivates keep, me specifically? Yeah, yeah what grind? What, what, like, to um, wake up and be, like, grinding at it. Honestly, what motivates me is almost, it's, a, it's an, almost an emotion, like a feeling. It's not even exactly a thought. Like, in general, big picture, I want to fucking be successful. I want to be really good at something. But I've learned about myself in order to, because I've been really good at, some, at shit in my life. I've, I've been at the top of games already as a kid. Um, so I, one, I know it's possible for me. But what I, what I was going to say is I, it needs to be something I actually fucking care about. I can't get really good at something that I don't have passion for. 
Well, you are gifted. What are you that's gifted what I've, with? That's what I've learned. I don't know. What are you gifted with? Like, genuinely, like, like, are you gifted in sports? Are you gifted yeah, in... Yeah, yeah. What, what I've been really good at and, com- and have been at high levels of is sports. Growing Usually up. what you're gifted with is something you should probably go with. Yeah. Well, I think sports, is, there's obviously physical capabilities and limits. Um, what I was really good at as a kid, I was a really high level wrestler, uh, won multiple state titles. It's amazing, man. Did I know that about you? Placed top five in nationals. Do you used to chew tobacco too? Because like every wrestler does. <laughs> I did not. I definitely, it was a hazing thing coming into high school, having to chew. So I did it a couple of times, but never really enjoyed it. So oh. did not stick. Cool, 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 cool. But no, no, I won like, yeah, like six or seven state titles as a kid growing up. Um, was a triple crown. There's three different styles of wrestling. So I won state in each style one year called the triple crown placed top five multi times at nationals um ended up walking away from wrestling totally different conversation but what i've just found even in school or whatever or in any topic i'm trying to get into and learn if i don't have passion for it this is partly why i whenever went after acting and walked away from school and what my degree was in because i want to fucking be really good at something and i can't force myself to put in the extra effort it takes to be really good at something if i don't give a fuck about it or at least enough fucks about it if I kind of care about it, yeah. it's all right. I'll probably be all right and, and kind of good, but I'm not going to be great. I'm not going to be, I'm not going to be at the top of whatever it is. You're pretty freaking great at so, this. So do you enjoy this? I do enjoy this a lot. Yeah. There's so many reasons. I w- there's definitely reasons I wanted to start this, but since starting this, there's just been in my mind more and more reasons of, yeah, that's another positive. Yeah. That's another positive. Right yeah. On. That's another positive. Like I've said before, if, Again, not to you, but if th- if this doesn't even ever work out, um, like it would be nice for for this to help my life financially. But if it never works out to do so, and I just get to talk to really fucking cool people and either connect with them, as I have with you, I've already learned shit about you that I did not know before. Learn from you, just feel it energizes me. Conversations like this energize me. And maybe I needed this to start having more conversations like that. And if so, then that's fine. But what I'm getting at is that if it's just the conversations and no one ever fucking watches, I'm happy with that because I enjoy this. I enjoy this fucking right now coming here to your fucking studio. I haven't been to before seeing you who I haven't seen in a year and a half learning about you, connecting to you, finding out things we think similarly about um and it energizes me to go after my own shit this is this is like a passion project for me this re-energizes me to go after what i'm trying to go after this included and other things and and it also i think gives me and hopefully other people who are watching maybe um a community of people who also think like that or they don't have to even think like that at least but I guess it's it's leading me to people who think similarly and are going after the things in their own life that are similar to me going after the things that I want in my life. So but I, I maybe me, it puts me in in front of people who are relatable to me. I don't I don't know. I, I feel guess that. No, I feel that 100%. I'll find I'll find that out more as as time goes on and but Yeah, dude. And that's just one reason. There's like literally so many reasons. A big one is um as hopefully the show grows as, as a following grows people who are listening i would love to in the future put other people on who maybe like you um if i don't feel like or even if you are successful already but like i want to fucking highlight you like dude just come on and literally whoever whoever pays attention to this show can be exposed to you that would give me such a good feeling to do for somebody else like Um, being that platform yeah Dude, I feel that. Yeah, I don't know if that would ever happen, but if it does, that's one thing I would love to do. I'm getting actually close to launching my app, as funny as it may sound. Don't Sounds even like know like, about it. Tell me like about a it. T- like a little uh, entrepreneur feel like, I'm <laughs> launching an app, and like it's great. Um, <laughs> it finds bugs in the street or something. <laughs> like, this it's is a, a butterfly it's a satellite. monitor? It's a satellite that connects people and that plays Cupid or something. I guess they call Tinder. 
Um, no, the, <laughs> um, like every other person likes trying to launch an app these days. Um, oh, yeah. But I created a, an, an app for artists, influencers. But it's why I'm saying this in general is the platform. And I, I love creating a platform to connect people and mm. have that platform. However, the app is called Snack. The snack. reason why it's called Snack is because you're a snack, you know? It's like one of those, like, it's like, like hey, snack. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> um, so it's called Snack, and... It's for artists, influencers, photographers, videographers to monetize. And I want to create a platform that not, doesn't rip them off. I take very slow percentage of security, obviously, but you can sell filters, products, services, tutorials, whatever the frick you want on there. And you have a platform to monetize between artists, influencers, users, and all that. And you can create right on the app. You can create, you know, with all these cool filters and blah, 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 edits. So it's a combination of a lot of things. I did trademark it, which means it's mine now. That's right. dope. Um, so, but it's, so it's just literally kind of big picture, a creative platform. And you know what? When you say when you said that from the top, it, I love that because that's me, man. Macro. I don't like the micro stuff. <laughs> I hate the little things. I hate the like details, which I supposed to love because I'm a photographer. And when I shoot, yes, I love them, and I notice every little detail and you know all that. Mm -hmm. But big picture, man, the macro. I always was like. Stay macro, mm -hmm. stay macro, like big picture. All right. Yeah. What are we doing? What, where's the vision? What's the purpose? Relating, What's the purpose now? Relating also, I know you mentioned Gary Vee earlier. I think it was Gary Vee who I saw in this video or, or whatever he said, quote, I'm about to quote him. The, like care about the macro, care about the big picture in being an entrepreneur or creating something. Um, care about the big picture, but don't care about like the, the small details along the way. And that really, that really resonated with me. And that's kind of how I'm approaching this. Like I have a, I have a long-term goal with this and, and vision. I could see this turning into that I would love to create it into, but like I said, I don't care. And even within the conversation, I want to hear about you. I want to hear how you came up, how you came to believe what you believe and wanted to go after what you wanted to go after. But in the conversation, whatever comes up and is talked about, I don't give a fuck about. Like, I don't have a, no, we need to talk about this. We didn't say that yet. Like, no, I want it to be natural. I want it to be casual. And I just like that approach. I love that, man. So, so keep the big, keep the ship, I guess, in the direction that you want to go. But what happens on the way, as long as it kind of keeps going in that way, like, let it just happen. Yeah, man. Quality, consistent qu content. If you're producing like you are, just consistently making this stuff happen. Don't, don't quit when you get back to LA, you know? <laughs> like every week if you no. pick a day and just every week drop some drop some good check the mic and make sure it sound right boys <laughs>